Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sawdust and Circuits. Today's video starts with a question. What do solder smoke, resin fumes, and a surprisingly fluffy cat all have in common? They've all been aggressively attacking the air quality in my workshop lately. So when I spotted these HEPA filters at the store, and for just $3, I figured it's literally time to clear the air. I wasn't really looking for filters, but they practically jumped off the shelf at $3. That's less than a fancy cup of coffee. And unlike coffee, this won't give me anxiety and make my tool shake. These HEPA filters aren't the highest end, but for the stuff I do in my office, 3D printing, electronics, and the occasional sketchy repair, they'll do just fine. So the plan, take one Antec 120 millimeter case fan that I just had laying around, add some 3D printed parts, and build a compact desktop air purifier. This fan is actually perfect. It has a built-in speed control, which is pretty rare. No Arduino, no external controller, just give it 12 volts DC and you're in business. I designed this simple spacer that holds a 5.5 millimeter barrel jack connector and it just slides in like a shim. And if you're interested in making your own, let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to share the STL files. Now, before we go any further, this fan grill is very much not finger safe. So don't put this in a kid's room or within swatting distance of a curious cat. You've been warned. The assembly is about as straightforward as it gets. An engineering friend once told me the best designs don't need instructions. So either this is well designed or I just got really lucky. I'll admit it, the base of this is kind of ugly, but sometimes ugly works. The whole thing is printed in ABS to give it a little bit more durability. And hey, you don't stare at the base of a lamp either, right? And there it is, assembled and running. You've got a compact, quiet, three-speed HEPA filter made from spare parts and $3 filters. It won't scrub an entire house, but for cleaning up the air around your printer or soldering station, it's perfect. Honestly, sometimes it's these little builds that are my favorite, not because they're flashy, but because they solve a problem that's been quietly annoying me for months. If you've enjoyed this build or want to see more 3D printed solutions, like it, give it a thumbs up, and maybe subscribe. I've got a lot more strange little projects on the way. If you're breathing cleaner air after watching this, we've both already won. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.